Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Sword Art Alicization War of the Underworld 2 um, uh, episode number 7 yes and uh, in the previous episode he woke up uh, the, the person we were waiting for for the past two seasons not past two, past one season and this season included um, like like it's been a long time we've seen Kirito like talk or anything or interact with other characters and uh, last we saw was in the first season of Alicization and that was it and it's been rough like like if you if you suddenly take away a person who has been like the main focus of the story like uh, without whose power like uh, like who, who was the main person who was the like uh, behind everything that was happening like uh, every good thing that was happening like Kato was the main guy like uh, without him um, barely anything like uh, was able to, uh, like the other characters i'm talking about the other characters the other characters are barely able to do anything without kirito like he is the main person and like taking him away <laughs> was really like um what do you call it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> frustrating and everything like uh, knowing that yeah these guys would have been like easily uh, uh, defeated if Kirito was uh, awake like each and every moment we were thinking like yeah this guy like yeah if Kirito was awake he would have like kicked his ass in two seconds but what what can you do like he has been like in a coma for quite some time and yeah finally he's awake and uh, let's see how he kicks ass <laughs> in the <laughs> in this episode and the upcoming ex episodes as well so yeah Okay, so I'll be putting the timer and the uh, subtitles here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Okay, I'll be counting down. Um, three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> God has descended. <laughs> Oh my god now I'm just I'm just waiting to see like his power now It would be best if he one shots Pooh like it would really be the best Come on come on one shot <laughs> I really need to see like <laughs> damn <laughs> Oh my god this guy <laughs> Don't worry, it will end soon. <laughs> Man, like, I mean, I'm feeling so happy after, like, he has returned. Like, I know, like, people, there are like, a lot of people who, like, I don't know, hate on SAO and everything, but SAO being the first, almost like uh, the f first batch of anime that I started with, I can't hate it. Like, no, in, in no way can I hate it. I definitely dislike few portions, but no, not hate. Like when SAO came out, it was like the coolest thing. Like, I, like I was fascinated uh, seeing that uh, such a concept existed. Like getting inside a video game and unable to get out. Like that was the first time for me. Like anything like this has ever. Uh, I've been sub like, I've seen anything like this. So like it's a wonderful memory for me and at that time I thought like it would be amazing if SAO had a video game like at that time there were no SAO games and like I, I there was one SAO game which was in PS3 and I don't I didn't have any consoles and I was extremely sad like but now full of games and like SAO is as popular as ever even though there are like people who hate on it like like the life depends on it, but still. Okay. Wow, what's with this music? Damn, this is like some kind of. Okay, come on. All right, all right. Excuse me. Yeah, you wish. Mm. 
Okay, um... Damn! Well, we're... Let's see, like, okay, um, uh, okay, um, like anything can happen here, like, it's all data, like, we have to understand that. Like, there is no ghost or stuff, all our data. Okay. Well, Keto's like uh, wielding it in one hand, like that takes power, immense amount of power against such a huge ass sword. Okay. All right, like. Thank God, this guy's like, uh. well, um, um, okay. Life is for him, transporting and imparting so. Hmm. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hmm. What does it mean? What is fly? <laughs> uh. Sacred resources. Well, that's a convenient sword. My god, what the hell is happening? <laughs> He's transforming. Okay. Okay, he has his trademarked coat, uh, coat or whatever. Jacket, whatever that is. Okay. Uh, 
Oh my god, shut up. Yet, because there's another enemy waiting for him, which is Vecta, obviously. Oh my god. Woof. Yes, come on, come on. Wound oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Kage bunshin no jutsu. Oh my, come on, come on. Damn, the power level. Woof. And <laughs> the face, look at the face, look at his face. Woof. Damn, wow, okay. And here it is. Wow, he, he just like blasted him. Oh my god, give it a rest dude, like seriously. Ugh. Over. What was that? Um. Eh? Wait, what? Oh, okay, so he like sealed him or something? Oh, okay, 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 all right, all right. <laughs> well, well, divine retribution. Oh my god, thank god, like, oh, this guy was so, like, off. Transfer durability? We're healing him, oh, okay, healing the others. <coughs> Alright. Wow, he's, like, re reattaching limbs as well. <laughs> Kirito, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, there's still uh, one enemy left. All right. Ah. 
<sighs> okay, let's go then. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> Showing off to other people. <laughs> well, that was kind of cute. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Eight hours and twenty minutes. Oh, okay. What's happening? Oh. Who the hell are you? Okay, he's fine. I was worried, like, I thought that he was going to die or something. Okay. Yep. Wait, are those guys still here? Like they're moonshine or something? I, f I forgot his. I keep forgetting his name. Oh my god, okay, um, uh, okay, the acceleration has been started. Limited descent. <laughs> oh my god, okay, wait. Five million? Yeah, it will like, yeah. Wait, so I'm confused like why did they suddenly like start the flashlight acceleration again because of JSDF or what because of them Oh my god.
200 oh my god okay um okay this is bad oh my god what about the other people like they should also yeah <clears throat> Ten minutes is a very less time, like Okay, how are they gonna pull this off? Like in ten minutes? Okay, they're at least here, like... Damn. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh my god. Here we go again. Oh. Like this guy. Like, oh my god. Ugh. Well? Ah, damn, like... Okay, th are they here? Like... Thank God, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> things are getting exciting. I'm I'm really looking forward to this. Like Vector, I need I need to like see him despair. Like this guy needs a taste of his own medicine. Oh God. <laughs> well, that ended up uh, ended in a like good note. Okay. Like finally we can like breathe in relief like like this is the seventh episode. Um so like uh I don't know like uh how many episodes uh, is this season going to be? I have to check that out and like even if it is like uh eleven or twelve episodes, I I'm hoping twelve episodes. But usually like um these short animes are 12 or 13 episodes so but this is like almost at the end end i think like keto woke up at episode number six that's quite early as i'm like as far as i expected i, I expected him to like wake up at 10th episode or something um 
so i don't know like uh, how the, like what they are going to do now like uh, and it took only one episode to um, defeat poo so like like only vector is left and like this is barely the seventh episode like uh, after this is the eighth episode the night sky blade okay that was episode number seven of sao war of underworld 2 now as i was saying like uh, this is where like the seventh episode and um like he has he he has all he has met vector now and from the eighth episode i think the, the fighting will start and uh, the final battle so i'm thinking like um is this battle going to be like a lot longer because um just a sec let me like check it now only like um like uh how much what do you call it uh, how many episodes is this season going to be um let's see just a sec guys 11 episodes okay um okay so 11 episodes so 11 that means um 7th uh, 8th 9th 10th 11th four four episodes are left yeah there, there is quite a bit time like i'm i'm hoping like uh, three episodes are going to like take uh, take up in like uh, defeating vector and clearing out everything and the last episode will be kind of like the epilogue or something so um yeah it, it's quite like uh, well balanced and i'm really glad like they uh, took the time uh, animating this and like i've i've heard uh, that like this was one of the this is the best uh, like one of the best uh, arcs in SAO so like if they like rushed through it I would have been really disappointed but they took that time they took like almost three seasons to um, like adapt it properly and I'm really glad about that and uh, like uh, at least it was not as rushed as SAO and like like I'm quite happy <coughs> um, okay so let's talk about this episode and first we see like Skeeter waking up kicking Pooh's ass and um, like here it is um, like uh, let's see like uh, here is a thing like people might say like this is like uh, like when Kyoto was unable to like uh, what do you call bring out his power and everything um, suddenly Yujo came in like people might call this like uh, what do you call it like Nakama power and anything and like anything like that like uh, I, I know like some people might like uh, Say that yeah, this was very bad like without any explanation. They suddenly Skeeto suddenly powered up and um, Like like uh, like yeah, usually this happens with Kirito like he powers up suddenly and like people the main uh, like uh, the people why people don't like SAO is like because of this like uh, like without any explanation he um, gets power boosted and he like he's extremely strong and people usually don't like that but i like it like uh, having an extremely strong protagonist um, even if it dis defies logic is like um, perfectly fine to me like uh, i don't see any any kind of like uh, like it, it makes it feel like yeah this guy can, and no one can like uh, defeat him and uh, like it, it, it it's like i really like uh, like we like people see, see, seeing people like come like go up and struggle to get to that power level and there are some animals definitely where they like they're born with that power level kind of thing so like uh, like <laughs> like I, like I, i'm saying this like uh, like i love sao and um, i'm saying this like why people people don't like this like this is like uh, sao is like uh, being born into royalty like it's like being born into royalty like you are born with power so is like that and the people most of the people don't like that portion and also uh, a lot of other things as well like uh, the uh, fast pacing in sao and alo as well and a few other things like uh, many other things but that's the main thing like being born into royalty being born with like uh, no problems like with power being born with power that is the thing thing that people usually do not like and like uh, there are a lot of instances where we kind of don't get an explanation of the power like how he get and got so much power and anything like that but uh, like people like seeing uh, characters uh, struggle to get to that height like if you were like like if you are born with everything like you uh, get into a show and you see that the uh, 
uh, main character is like the almighty powerful person uh, who like swipes uh, his sword uh, and uh, people uh, enemies just die like that and uh, people are usually frustrated because of this like insane this power level kind of thing but like uh, i don't see any any problem with that like there are different uh, a lot of animes uh, some animes are like this some animes are where people like struggle to get to that po that place so um uh, so yeah like um uh, I think the main problem is like the not with the ex insane power level, but with the lack of explanation of that power level of Kirito, and like uh, like there are a lot of uh, uh, anime characters with extreme power level who like start with extreme power. Like for example, Mahoka. If you guys have seen it, Mahoka. Ke uh, what was its name? Uh, Mahoka Ke. Ke Keke no Ritto or something like that. I'm forgetting all these names are so like long. And you guys know the Shibuya Tatsuya, uh, that guy, uh, and with his sister, uh, he is like kind of like the god of that uh, anime. But people love like, there are a lot of people who love that anime. The majority loves that anime. That's because there is like an explanation to everything, like why he has become like that. But uh, in case of Kirito, there are a lot of things unexplained, and like they skip over a lot of things. Like Kirito might have gone gotten a new power, but we never get to see it. Like suddenly it was like he was like um, in first floor, and then he, suddenly he's like in the fiftieth floor. Like we are unable to see the the um, struggle that he went through to get those powers, and suddenly he starts spamming that. So like usually people like gets confused and like say that how the hell did he get this and how is he so strong without any uh, prior explanation. But like these are all the kind of like the uh, grievances that people have and uh, like some of our it are well justified as well. But like this is just an anime like uh, like chill out and this is just an anime and it, it's just here to entertain us and if you're entertained that's all it takes. Like it has already uh, like uh, what do you call it it has already served its purpose like entertaining us and like i think it did that way like i i don't get too much into some kind of like all of these kind of explanations and anything like having an explanation is good and well and good but without even if some animals doesn't have an explanation and it's like um like uh doing these kind of things like without explanation spamming powers it's okay like uh like not everything needs an explanation to become uh, to make you entertained okay like i went on a tangent and i'm talking about this okay so th this episode was like um so yeah uh we see like kirito and uh and as, as i was saying like yujio came coming out and i think that was like kind of like the data thing like uh like y yuki also came here like uh he was she was not here but i think like these two characters uh, suddenly appeared because of the data thing like in this these are all datas and like uh, data can come any anywhere like uh, we might see a person uh, like uh, uh, beside us who are like hovering around and we might uh, think that yeah that's a ghost because in real life there is no data swimming around you but uh, at least there is nothing now like our scientific progress is not so advanced that we can see data around us it has not advanced so much so like in a virtual world which is completely made out of data like this thing can happen and like that's not a ghost or any kind of thing or nakama power that's just data it's like my interpretation is like this uh, i don't know like if there's any other explanation of it but i'm thinking it of it like this so yeah yuzu came in and gave kirito that push he needed and uh, after that uh, kirito uh, made uh, the others log out safely and I don't know like those guys if they're still here or not that uh, moon moonshine or whatever his name is I keep forgetting his name like it was moon I know that but after that was it shine or something I'm, I'm forgetting it anyways that guy and uh, the other people who were like the uh, only sane person who was uh, came here uh, uh, at Pooh's invitation and uh, like uh, We'll, we'll probably get to see it later on if they're still here or like they were also locked out um, uh, and then he Kito defeats who and like uh, like this was a little bit surprising like 
like i never saw kito like being like this like uh, he never kind of like punished people so severely like he did pu here and like his anger and his punishment is well justified like he was a main guy behind everything that happened like not everything that happened in sao but the player killing whatever that was happening like he was a guy and like he riled people up for his own selfish twisted intentions of his own like self satisfaction and he even come like followed them here so like i think that was like he got what he deserved and uh, like kito did not completely kill him but like kind of like sealed him in a tree and who knows like when he will get uh, like released from that uh, seal and uh, yeah after that uh, like there's a cute little portion with asuna and kito and uh, they like they start going to um, the rescue alice now here's the thing like i'm a bit confused over here like they uh, like one thing that i can understand here is that they are suddenly starting this flux uh, fluctuate acceleration again because the jsdf will can get in uh, and they have very less time so like they're using the acceleration to like speed things up in the game so that uh, mm, the conclusion can be met quicker uh, before the jsdf barges in so like that thing i got but i am not getting something here that is like why are they accelerating more like they are going to make it like 5 million times i think so why is that like they could have like kept it at the previous uh, acceleration rate and uh, like they could have like easily uh, like been able to uh, complete it quickly like why that 5 million thing i am not getting that like is there a reason behind that like why are they increasing the speed so if like like please uh, if you guys know the, the answer to this please comment down below because i'm a bit like i don't get it like get this portion and this is like a big uh, problem to create on the others and at the same time it's also like a problem to vector and the others like 5 million times that's a long time like it, like uh, like a minute would make almost like 200 years and uh, something like that like i'm guessing like this isn't, i'm not calculating it but it's just a guess like it would be something like that so like why uh, I, I i don't get that portion anyways um so they have like 10 minutes uh, at hand to like <laughs> go there and uh, like clear everything up and like I, like I'm, uh, this is kind of funny like 10 minutes like uh, if this is like a Dragon Ball Z like uh, in that episode like I've not seen Dragon Ball Z but uh, I've heard from a lot of people and I've also seen the clip on YouTube like they take like almost uh, two episodes for like five minutes or something i can't remember but something like that like two episodes <laughs> and five minutes has only passed like if something like that happens here <laughs> that would be kind of, kind of funny and uh, uh like that would be <laughs> that would be fluctuated acceleration <laughs> like we are seeing it for 24 minutes and like five minutes passed in that <laughs> inside the anime like that is fluctuated acceleration <laughs> simplified oh god uh okay so <laughs> kick uh, uh okay that thing happened and uh, like um kiko kind of all the, all of the others are like going to try their best to support them i think and uh, like those two dragons like i was really worried like after that uh heartwarming scene with alice uh, and the dragons and like i was worried like if they were going to be get killed but thank god kirito came in time and yeah like i'm really looking forward to see vector's defeat like i don't know why like these type of people really annoy me i don't know uh, this uh, soul fetishist <laughs> let's see what happens to mr soul fetishist in the next episode and I think like uh, it will be a tough battle, but um, obviously uh, Kito will prevail at the end. Uh, like everyone knows that, but uh, like let's see how this goes. And uh, we've not seen Sinon here. Like I think like he she'll come back later on, but this whole episode we got, uh, like we didn't see Sinon at all. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching the episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, 
press that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't and be sure to comment down below what are your thoughts anything you want to share with me and the thing i asked that um the flux flux light acceleration thing like why the sun is like made it faster um i i don't get that portion so yeah and uh, i'll be back with a new sora online episode next week uh, it will be episode number eight yes episode number eight we're like almost at the end and uh, yeah so thank you guys again and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day